As we grow up, communication becomes more vital in our daily life. It could make or break a relationship and a lot of times, misunderstandings come from simple miscommunication. And in this video, I'll share some simple tips to better communicate yourself and also how to be better at conversations. On my past video, I was asked about book recommendations and I mentioned ko yung How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And usually, minimension ko lang yung book na yan for human relations para lang ma-remind ka how to treat other people properly. But that book also gives me some idea on how to effectively converse with other people. Siguro, I got super fascinated on how to be effective sa conversation when I was working sa insurance industry as a salesperson. Kasi what we do dun sa job na is we talk to people, we promote and sell life insurance policy. And dun ko na pansin na uh, people don't like uh, presentation. They prefer more of conversation. There's only one thing that is very important to me pagka may kinakausap akong tao when, when, when we're having a conversation and that is connection. Hindi ko siya totally ma-explain kung ano siya pero yun yung feeling niya sobrang connected ka dun sa kausap mo. So in this video, I'd like to share to you yung mga na-notice ko uh, before that tingin ko are some simple tips that helps me be better at conversing to people. Tip number one, learn how to listen. Siguro this one super underrated na sobrang nineglect natin pagka may kinakausap tayong tao. I think yung main problem dito is we tend to anticipate than to listen. But the last, pag nakikipag-usap tayo, we tend to think kung ano yung itatanong sa atin or kung ano yung sasabihin sa atin nung kausap natin and nagpe-prepare agad tayo ng sagot sa utak natin kung ano yung sasagot natin sa sasabihin sa atin nung kausap natin instead of just listening dun sa kausap natin. For example, pag tinanong ka lang kamusta, di ba? Pag tinanong ka lang kamusta, iniisip mo agad, ano kaya yung sasagot ko pag tinanong ako ng kamusta dito? Dude, chill lang. Just listen. Wala tayo sa school recitation. Just be in the moment and listen. Instead of anticipating yung question, just respond to the question or interact with the question. Again, be in the moment, be in the conversation, and listen. The more you are in the moment, the clearer mong maririnig yung kausap mo, and the better mo siyang maiintindihan, and the better your conversation will be. Okay, have you ever talked to someone and lagi nilang nilang binibida yung sarili nila and lagi nilang sila yung nagsasalita? How was your experience? Kamusta yung usapan nyo? Ako, personally, I have a friend na ganito. And umay, umay talaga lagi yung usapan. Most of the time, umay talaga. And alam mo yun, uh, hindi pa nagsisimula yung conversation nyo, alam mo na yung kakahinat na nito. So just be conscious and be aware about it. Everybody likes to be heard, so let other people speak and listen. Respond sa mga sinasabi nila and sakay mo yung flow ng conversation nyo. Siguro the best time for you to talk is when everybody's done talking or kaya naman when the conversation is dying kasi wala na kayo mapag-usapan. But always prioritize yung kausap mo to do the talking. Siguro this one takes a lot of experience pero para sa akin, what really helps me be genuinely interested to people is yung mindset na pag kinausap ko tong taong to, there's something new na matututunan ako. I'm just really a fan of learning. And second is yung mindset na I'm just really a fan of story. Alam mo yun, pagka kinausap ko tong taong to, meron naman akong bagong story na maririnig. And I'm just a huge fan of story and storytelling. Now, hindi ito yung mga walang kwentang chika. For me, if you know the right questions to ask, you'll be hearing the right stories to hear. Lastly, para dito, it really helps if you're really looking for a human connection. Because, kunwari, para sa akin, if we're having a great conversation, for example ako, if I'm sharing a good story ng buhay ko, it's like I'm sharing a part of my life dun sa kausap ko. And yung kausap ko is sharing a part of his or her life sa akin. And dahil dun, we're bonded through our stories, di ba? Sabi nila, you should always enter a conversation with an open mind. Now, hindi ka naman necessarily maniniwala agad dun sa sasabihin ng kausap mo. But, pagka may sinabi siya, you should always be open to it and consider kung ano yung sinasabi ng kausap mo. It also helps to be self-aware na hindi ka laging tama and alam mo sa sarili mo na i-admit na mali ka pagka mali ka talaga. I think one of the best example na itong sinasabi ko is when yung um, recreate gumawa ng video about uh, a Catholic and an atheist having a conversation. Hi guys, my name is Burns. So, I am a Catholic educator, speaker, and mentor. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm an atheist. If hindi nyo pa siya napapanood, I'll link it sa show notes sa right corner ng screen. Panoorin nyo na lang if hindi nyo pa siya napapanood. And I hope gumawa din yung recreate ng video about uh, two political, two opposite political parties natin dito sa Pilipinas. So, yung mga DDS and Dilawa. And, they, and I hope na parang makagawa sila ng video na they are having decent conversation and they're trying to 
um, look yung opinions nila based on yung other's perspective. Now, I'm not really sure if meron na bang video na ganun or wala pa. But if nakagawa sila ng video, kindly, at uh, tapos nyo, kindly share it in the comment section down below yung link ng video na yun. So, yun, I hope people would enter a conversation with an open mind and kaya nilang i-drop yung biases nila. And I hope one day we could um, really try to look at yung perspective ng other people para mas magkaintindihan tayo. And I hope one day talaga people could harmoniously have a conversation kahit magkaiba yung opinions nila. So, yun. Lastly, number five, embrace vulnerability. Para sa akin, this is the secret sauce to a meaningful conversation. Hindi ko alam kung bakit, but this is something na na-observe ko sa lahat ng tao. Pagka kinakausap ko sila for the very first time, people are very defensive and para silang may mga wall na nakapaligid sa kanila. Sobrang-sobrang tipid nila magsalita or magkwento. But once nag-share ka ng personal story mo, they tend to share more or open up sa'yo and parang nababreak down ng wall of defense nila. Yung madalas kong kinikwento sa kanila is how I miserably fail a date. If naiintrig ka dun sa kwentong yun, I'll link it in the show notes. Panoorin nyo na lang if naiintrig ka kayo sa kwentong yun. Never be afraid to ask personal questions sa mga kausap mo. If nasa right place, right time ka. And most importantly, you are you have the right intentions of asking that uh, personal question. And huwag ka din matakot mag-share ng vulnerable stories mo. So yun, magugulat ka na lang how parang great or meaningful yung conversation mo once parang tinaray nyo maging vulnerable. Those are my 5 tips for a better meaningful conversation. So if you have your own personal tips na na-observe nyo and tingin nyo makakatulong sa ibang tao to achieve a meaningful or better conversation, just leave them in the comment section down below. Last two additional tips na lang na bigla ko naalala. Uh, number one, find common interest between sa'yo and sa kausap mo and dun yung start yung conversation mo and sakya mo yung flow ng conversation nyo through yung common interest mo. Uh, number two, never judge yung kinakausap mo. That's a no-no na gagawin mo. So, yun lang. I hope you find this uh, video entertaining and parang meaningful. So, yun. Uh, please leave a like kung nagusta mo yung video and consider subscribing for more meaningful videos na kagaya nito. Alright, bye! Being 25... Huwag lang mong padala masyado sa pressure. Kasi ang daming pressure sa paligid eh. Oo. Uh, Feeling mo, uh, mga, mga ilang, okay. Example ng pressure. So, may, meron kang kahilala na ilang years younger sa'yo, pero is doing better. Um, Financially. Yun lang naman ang reference natin eh. Hindi alam ko ano yung background oh, niya. Oo, yung happiness meter. Hindi mo alam. Hindi mo masabi through social media. Hmm, pwede, eh. um, pero ang pinakamandaling measure is, ano yung financial level na to? Which is, wow. Ah. A few, a few years younger than me, pero grabe na yung... Pay, ah, ano. totoo naman. So, given na, kunyari, uh, given naman na hindi siya from a wealthy side. Ah, lalo yung mga ganyan. Diba, doon ka ma-pressure. Self-made. Eh. Oo, oh, self-made. Ma-appreciate mo siya. Hindi mo siya, hindi mo siya hinahatak pa baba. Ah. Na-appreciate mo siya, pero somehow, syempre, may pressure ka. Oo. Oh, ah. Na, paano ko yan? Paano ko magkakapera ng ganun? Pero, eh. Oh, diba? Paano ko generate yun? Wala akong ano, money generating na side. So, pag nag-compute ka naman ng monthly salary mo, <laughs> tatanda na ako ng ganito, ha? Diba, ang hirap. <laughs> Mahirap isipin. Lalo, hey. hindi ko, hindi ko alam paano kasi sa corporate side, eh. Since, diba, self-employed ako. Parang nasa akin. Though, iba naman yung pressure sa akin, yung pressure to keep up. Uh-huh. Na, paano mo i-stay up float yung sarili mo while just doing what I what I wanted. So, hindi, uh, balik muna tayo sa topic. Kasi, diba, parang yung sinabi sa atin, uh, buy a car, buy a home, get married. Have kids. Uh, have, have kids. Na, Do not have kids. May ano, parang <laughs> tingin mo ba, uh, nung bata ka ba, naisip mo by 25, uh, meron ka na nung mga ganung material things or yung mga, yun, yung mga ideal things na gusto nilang i- i-reach natin? Oo. Oh, Nakala ko talaga nung bata ako. For the whole copy of the podcast, click here. Uh, also, follow me on Spotify. Doon din yung podcast ko. Link down below. And subscribe dito. Yeah, thanks.